good morning and happy Thursday. So today was already a great day because let me tell you, it was almost 70 degrees outside. So, so slay. Anyways, I had one of my early classes this morning. So woke up, did my makeup, ate a quick breakfast and then rushed out the door. So this was like a really quick fit check for you because I ended up walking so fast. Literally think I gave myself shin splints, but made it to my filmmaking class on time. And today was the first day of screening people's films in class, which was so much fun. So we screened Sonaheen's film, which I tried to get a clip of there but couldn't and that was the one that I showed us like filming at Kate's dorm in my last video. Anyways, after class I got out, I walked to Brandy Melville and CVS and had like two failed shopping attempts. There's like definitely something in my eye. <laughs> it's like, wait, I can actually tell you exactly what time it is. 12 11. Dude, yesterday was so warm and today's even hotter. It's so weird. It's like 64 degrees right now. I think it's gonna rain though soon had my first class went around i literally two failed shopping attempts went to brandy melville first because it's caitlin's birthday on saturday and i wanted to get her like one of those little like matching pajama sets and this brandy melville like just did not have the ones that i was looking for so we're gonna have to figure that out went to cvs because i wanted to get glitter for my short film that i'm gonna be filming i think this weekend and they didn't have glitter either so kind of a fail anyways let me show you the fit like actually because I woke up late this morning and walked so fast I literally feel like I had shin splints but we made it to class on time so it's fine no sweater today because it was so nice I haven't worn this shirt in so long just wore this black golf t-shirt like Tyler the creator and then we just did the little jeans kind of cash these are unique low and then I wore my Mary Jane's. They're from Doc Martin, but they're like the Heaven collab and they're my babies. I always get questions about these sunglasses, which they're so fun. Unfortunately, I got them from Depop. They were on this like weird sale where it was like, you buy three for the price of like one or two. So, and they have no name brand on them. And that was like a really long time ago. So they're kind of giving like $5 sunglasses. So I'm sorry, besties. I've been like trying to catch up with sleep this whole week. I just really overdid myself this last week and this weekend. So I feel like I'm, I'm like starting to come back to life a little bit. I'm also really hungry, actually. Let's start making lunch while I chat. Anyway, so feeling a little bit better on the, we're all like on the up climb of the hill, which is good. But yeah, it's Thursday, so I kind of want to see how much work I can get done today so that I don't have to like do as much tomorrow or even this weekend because tomorrow we're filming Louisa's short film and so I'm gonna be doing that after my morning class and then I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow night yet stay updated for that Saturday is like Caitlin's birthday and then I have to start filming my short film kind of sporadically this weekend for class and the usual YouTube stuff so we're busy as always I also just kind of want to like go to the movies a few times this weekend I got I don't know if I told you guys so two weeks ago I I got the AMC Stubbs member pass, which never something I thought about doing, but I think someone like one of my friends told me about it last semester and kind of sold me on the idea of it low key. So I got it and it's been so great so far. Also because movies in New York are like $20 a piece, which is just insane. And so I never used to go to the movies really, but I got this pass and for like the New York price, it is like 25 bucks for the month, which I've already seen two movies. So already it's been worth it, but I need to go see more. Obviously I want to like really take advantage of it especially like as Oscar season's coming up. A lot of you told me your favorite Oscar nominations in the comments of my last video, and I literally haven't even seen most of them yet still. So we have to get on top of that. Basically, long story short, I'm kind of rambling, but see how much work I can get done. Usually on Thursdays have like a meeting with my old professor who taught stop motion last semester because he does like drawing exercises with me just to work on my portfolio, which is really awesome. But he just emailed me so he can't make it today, which is like honestly gives me more time to just be a little bit more flexible. I'm gonna figure that out. And okay, also besties, here's my dilemma. This is literally like not a dilemma at all. Not a real problem, but I'm just, I don't know what to do. So I got these nails done January 20th, three-ish weeks ago. They're growing out. I think like by next week, they'll start to kind of like pull up, you know, when your hair kind of starts to get caught under them. And the thing is spring break is like a little bit after the first week of March. So I'm like, either I go get these redone today or something, and then they'll be here for like three-ish weeks, and then I get them done again so they're fresh for spring break. But then that's like a lot of money. Making avocado toast, we'll see where we go from there. But I am loving this warm weather, I'm not gonna lie.
Okay, for lunch we had the same avocado toast, but today I made it a little bougie, a little fancy. So I had that, and then after that I did the dishes and watched some of my TV show. And then after that I got my backpack together for Bobes because today I needed to like catch up on work and be productive. So made myself go to Bobes, decided to walk all the way there to campus, which was fine except like halfway through it started raining, so barely made it in time. Got there around 2.30 and found one spot. Sometimes it's so hard to find a spot there, but I found this seat by the door, which not sure if I loved it or not because everyone was coming in and out, but it's okay because I worked on some of my screenwriting homework and did a lot of work for my internship, which was all necessary. And then after about like three-ish hours, I left right as the sun was going down. It was still raining a little bit, but still super warm. And the weirdest thing about Bob's is like when you're there, when the sun goes down, these chimes start to go off and it's always a little freaky and I don't really know why, but it's just to tell you, I guess of the sun setting because people are in there forever got home right before seven though chilled out for a minute and then decided to do a little workout video and then after that i made myself some dinner basically i cooked a lot of my tofu for some salad and to use in the future some dinner i'm frying my tofu right now for my dinner now but also just to like low-key meal prep the rest of it so i don't have to cook it again i'm actually gonna move you over here i think it's a little better right next to the tofu just doing a salad dude literally i usually get like the like extra firm tofu from trader joe's because i like to season my tofu with the sheet of powder and then fry it in sesame oil and for some reason this time i got like the regular soft tofu and it's been such a pain because it does not want to stay together in one piece. Weirdly, I have like a couple insomnia gift cards that I like just forget about all the time. So I'm thinking after dinner, maybe I'll go walk and get some cookies and edit and some cucumber. The final verdict, I think on the nails, they're like starting to come up now. So it is like, it's like getting to be time. Like next week will probably be kind of rough with them. But I was looking at it and I was like, I've had these for almost five weeks now. So obviously, I do not care that much about keeping them up to par. <laughs> Spring break is only in like three weeks. And if I got nails now and then I wanted to like get a new set for spring break, I feel like they wouldn't have lived their full life by the time that I would need to get another pair off. And they're also so expensive. So exciting just from the say. I've been getting so many like comments and DMs from you guys because NYU acceptance, one of the acceptance decision things just came out. So congratulations to everyone. That's so exciting. And for those of you who found out and who maybe did not get in or got waitlisted, that's okay because it's like we always think we know what our life's gonna be like or what's best, especially like someone like me, like I'm a planner. And I think it's really scary. And obviously getting a no, always always hurts even though girl trust me i've gotten so many no's and i get them like every day it's just kind of never feels good though but where you're supposed to be will happen for a reason even though that's annoying to hear i think but i do think it's true like whether it's a different place or like different people you'll meet or different opportunities something that would have never happened if you if you were going down this like original life path that you thought i don't know why i'm trying to be like inspirational putting tomatoes in my salad okay i'm gonna finish this and then i'll get back to you because my tofu is sizzling had this salad it was slay it served after that i ordered some insomnia which was kind of weird to order but they don't actually take the gift cards in store last time i was there so i had to order my single cookie online but walked and secured the cookies best late night snack run ever oh my god my cookie's broken <gasps> or wait i think they just gave me like two weird shaped cookies cookies secure yeah dude every time i go to insomnia they either most times give me the cookie for free an extra cookie for free or just like a random cookie technically i got two i got but it's like weird shape so excited update the cookies so good Decided it was time to start winding down for the night because I did have another morning class on Friday So took a shower tonight was hair wash night It's always a pain but then once it's done like it's the best feeling ever and did my skincare and then after the shower Laid in bed and started to edit my YouTube video Which was honestly clutch because usually I wait until like Saturday night to edit it and then I'm struggling and I'm up till 5 a.m That was my treat myself today and then I just set all of my alarms for class in the morning and basically that was it. Nothing else really interesting happened, but thanks for joining me and I will see you in my next video.